Here is the top section of our second story to the front of the house. Yeah. Chris is making a toilet seat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, so I, I couldn't do this very easily with wood. Um, and so I decided just to carve it out of foam. We're gonna hard coat it anyway with mortar, so should work out okay. But I've got to carve little little wood grains in it and stuff. But yeah, like these guys. Look at that. Yeah. And Chris just took a grinder to that, right? Yep. Yeah, and made little knots and such. Again, just like all the other pop outs, I just ripped down some uh, fence boards here. I got to put a little piece on the bottom. But uh, nailed them to the edge. These bigger ones were a little more difficult. I used a two by four, and then just ripped it down. And then that way, when I cut it with the jigsaw, I created my curve. So it doesn't have to be real pretty on the inside, does it? No, because we're gonna mud it, texture it. Yeah. And you won't even know it. Yeah. Haunter secrets, ha ha ha. <laughs> We're gonna add some wood grain, and this is how we do it. A lot of times I'll just use the grain that's already there. All right guys, I got all the wood grain all dug into the popped out parts. Uh, I finished the foam. I used great stuff to glue that down and then I just stuck a couple screws in there temporarily to hold it. Everything else is all wood glued. Um, I just got done blowing it all off and now I'm gonna mix up some mud and hard coat this thing. made a lot of people uneasy. <laughs> I know you're comfortable with tools, but man, people would be like, dang, Grizz, watch your hands, watch your hands. Oh, they, they were far enough away. Mm -hmm. You're on, action. So, we're getting down to the wire here. The trim is almost done, thank goodness, because I'm sick of grinding. But what I did is I've got a wood trim right here, kind of where it more of the traffic and people are going to be beating up on it. When we get up here in this tight radius, we're using foam for the trim just to get that bend. And what we did is we ripped down some foam to the two inch thickness, like our trim. And then what I did is I took a circular saw and I just made a bunch of slits to make it a little more flexible. And I'm gluing it down with some great stuff, which I can actually just do this right now. A little great stuff on there. Put a little bit on here. It helps to let this sit for a second while it gets sticky. And then what we got is we got some like two and a half inch screws, which we can either pull out after the this great stuff dries or leave it in and grind the screws off. Screws are basically just to temporarily hold it on there. But the idea is to get this trim on here. What's cool about using that mortar is you don't have to worry about all these little slits. You could either go back and fill it with great stuff, which we're not going to do, or you can just <laughs> stuff it with mud. Stuff it with mud. Stuff it with mud. That's a little faster. See, it kind of helps give us that that shape. I'll put one more screw in here just for the heck of it. I ended up putting a little bit of great stuff in some of the cracks that were big, just to kind of give it some kind of filler. 
Um, I could, I mean, you can see I did a really fast job. A guy could really go a lot slower and make sure everything's all carved nice and stuff. But again, I think the mortar is going to fill most of this stuff and it gives it a little place to grab into the foam. But that stuff works really good, man. This thing is really stuck on there. So just wanted to show you guys that. I'm going to plug some lights in and start mixing some mud. There's some serious mudding going on right now. <laughs> I think I got it on the back of my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that's funny. I couldn't really, I was, I just kept dripping it if I didn't get under here, so. <laughs> hey, at least it's dripping on me now. Instead well, of on the ground. Well, there you go. You'll be a living statue. There. 